What's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're back again this week with another video for you. So today I decided to make a uh, LCD game. This is pretty much just a game of a person that's running around and you have to click the push button to make a jump over the obstacles that come towards you. The code's in the description, it's a really easy project that anyone can follow, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content just like this. So for this amazing project, you will need a breadboard. It doesn't have to be a mini breadboard, I'm just using it because I think it's easier to use. You will need an LCD display, I use a 16x2. A push button, a potentiometer to control the brightness of the LCD display, an Arduino Uno, a blue cable for the connections, and some jumper wires to attach everything together. Yeah, like approximately that much. So now to start off, you will take your breadboard, and connect your LCD display onto it, just like so. Now you grab another breadboard and you put your other materials on it, like the potentiometer. So you grab your Arduino Uno and you plug one wire into this GND, right here. And you plug into both GNDs and both 5V pins. And there, just like that, you have your basic connections done. Now you connect one GND pin over here. And the other GND pin right over here. You connect one of the 5V pins over here on the opposite side. And you connect the other 5V pin on this side over here. Right about there. And that's your that's your power source connected on. Now let's get into more of the complicated wiring. Now we're going to connect all the power pins to the GND and the 5V. So over here, this is a GND pin. And right over here, this purple one, it connects right onto the purple one right there. Now the last one over here is also a GND pin. And it connects right in front of it, over here, onto the purple pin. Now the two 5V pins are right over here. This one connects in front of the white one on the right side corner, and there's another one next to the first, next to the second GND, which is over here. There's also another power source pin, which is so now you have to skip these two squares and go to the third one right here. This is a GND pin, which connects all the way onto this. Now that we've gotten the LCD power pins connected, we move on to the potentiometer power pins and the other and the push pin and push button power pins. So over here we have the, the pin all the way on the right side of the potentiometer is a GND pin as well, which connects all the way onto the yellow pin right on the right hand side. Then the push button has a GND pin right here. And some people might get mixed up with the two pins on the push button sometimes if you if you put your push button the other way around then you have to like switch it from here to here and now for the 5v pin for the potentiometer is obviously on the left hand side across from the gnd onto this pin right there that's all the 5v and gnd connections for the whole project there's one more pin there's one more connection you have to make for the potentiometer and the lcd display which is right next to these two pins. So right here, you skip these first two pins and move on to the third one. This pin right here, the orange wire, through and into the middle pin of the potentiometer. Just like that. And now we're going to move on to the digital and analog pins for the... Now we're going to move on to the analog and digital pins for the potentiometer, the push button, and the LCD display. Now to make things easy, we'll do the we'll do the push button first, which goes on to digital pin number two. So you take it right here. So we're gonna do the push button first. You take your wire and put it on the right side of the push button, and we put it on analog. Now we put on digital pin number two, which is the second, which is the third pin from the left. And now moving on to the LCD display. The LCD display is a bit more complicated because there's like at least seven more wires left to connect. And so let's start. So the first connection is right here. 
this fourth pin from the left and this goes on to digital pin number 11 which if you know from your previous videos that this is 8, 9, 10 then this is 11 and the second digital connection on the LCD is right there if you can see it, it's right there, that one, the yellow pin the yellow jumper wire and it goes on to pin number 9 then we have the pretty basic connections which is the last couple of connections those are quite easy to understand it's just that it's just from here right here this pin and this pin goes on to here digital pin number 3 and I can grab another wire and connect it from next to the purple wire here on to digital pin number 4 and moving on to digital pin number 5 you connect right here and you connect this blue wire to here next to that area and now for the last connection before uploading the codes that is from here next to it it's right from here all the way up to digital pin number 6 so here's the schematic it will be shown on the screen right now so now guys I have uploaded the code the code is in the description I've said it before and I'll say it again the code is in the description so now to change the brightness all you have to do is toggle with the potentiometer it changes the brightness of the game from 0 all the way up till when it's too bright to see anything so we change the brightness to one area where everyone can see it and we click the button to start playing every time you click the button the, ro the, the person inside the game will start to jump and at the top right corner of the LCD display you can see that there is a timer it's not exactly a timer it just says how many seconds you stayed alive for